Be on the lookout. A woman now asking for the public's help finding indigenous regalia that was taken when her car was stolen in Salem. Yeah, the car was recovered and now she's hoping the irreplaceable items will be found as well. Jenny Young is live on this story tonight. And Jenny, tell us more about what happened and what was taken. Aubrey Logan says that these pieces are part of remembering her community's strength and resilience. She says that they are truly priceless. They're all different. They're all different shapes, sizes, colors. Moccasins, a gold shawl, beaded earrings, and shell necklaces. And of the family, they're from Yurok and Talawang, Karuk tribes, more uh, Northern California. Those shells are have such a significance to the tribes down there. Auburn Logan says those pieces and several more were inside a box in the trunk of her car while she was in the process of moving. When she woke up Saturday morning, her car was gone from her apartment complex on Bell Road Northeast. Everything was locked and all the windows were up. Auburn filed a police report and to her surprise, Salem police called her Monday saying they found the car. It was on Hazel Green Road about 10 miles from her apartment, but the box of regalia was gone. And I just collapsed. I just broke at work. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't, I couldn't talk. Auburn found the strength to share her story today and says she needs the community's help finding the priceless pieces that celebrate her enduring heritage. We have walked this earth and we've walked these grounds in this land for thousands of years, just us as a people. I haven't lived for over thousands of years, but I carry my ancestors' dreams. And we want to keep their language, the culture, the traditions alive and well and keep them safe. She is asking people to check pawn shops, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, places like that. And Salem police tell us they are still investigating this. If you think you've seen any of these pieces, definitely reach out to the Salem Police Department. Reporting live, Jenny Young, 26 News.